But first stop, we are hungry. So we go into this French bakery. There was nothing there, very disappointing. So then we went to get some fresh juice. Um, I was not gonna eat a lot, so my friend wanted some um, bread and I wanted to get some juice and some fruits for the morning. Um, later on, towards the end of the series, I'm gonna tell you why I couldn't eat as much during this trip. Oh, I was restricted. But so I found a green juice that was absolutely delicious to me and I immediately grabbed it from the fridge. Um, I got some fruit and then we went over to the counter to pay and to quickly head off to my next spot. Okay, surfing. All right, so we get to the hotel villa. It is right plastered on the beach. Um, so I go in here uh, and meet my instructor. As you can see, there's some massage tables there. It's like a, just a chill area, right? And the instructions, the instructors are here, and the surfboards are here. So this is where the house is, this is where we lounge and stuff. So you can imagine. So I went in, um, found a place to put my stuff, um, and I decided, let me change, right? Let me change. Let me take my time while my instructor gets the best surfboard for me. So here I am, uh, putting my things together, my GoPro, just getting myself together while my um, trainer gets his self together. And can I tell you, he is absolutely the best, best trainer, okay? Best freaking um, surf teacher that I think anyone can have. He is incredibly patient. When I say the definition of patient, he's so patient. I just feel myself a little bit. So if I look crazy or not, I am so vain. Why do I, why am I checking myself out? Here he is, okay, here he is. So he got the surfboard, um, we're going out and here I am, okay? Here, here I am. He is teaching, I am falling, I'm almost drowning, but I never drown. I didn't drown, I didn't drown, I didn't drown. And one thing I learned is if you fall, you better stand up again, okay? I kept holding my nose so the water doesn't go in, but look at me, look at me! He was so proud when I did all the, you know, the proper serves, and I finally rode the waves, and I just felt like such a pro. Anyways, here I am, I'm done, taking a shower, rinsing all the sand off my hair, because the number of times I fell into that water, rolled over the sand, rolled back, baby, like a whole ball, okay? Like a ball of sand. Anyways, so here's Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am must take a shower, I'm like, baby, I'm a black girl, I scrubs, I scrubs, even if, <laughs> even when I have clothes on, okay? I am scrubs. Rubbing. But yeah, so here I am finally getting my hair together. Wet as hell. I'm wet like a dog, like a wet dog. But anyways, I had the time of my life. I learned so much. And my instructor told me, like, listen, if you did this for a week, you would be literally incredible. And then I met these two amazing Afro-Indigenous um, surf teachers. And we had a great conversation about New York and the US, etc. And their experiences in Costa Rica. It was great. I found this amazing shell. And yeah, that was it. But before I left, you know I had to leave a message for my mama. I want these waters. I want these Costa Rican waters to know, hey mom, I'm here. I wanted them to know that I was thinking about my mama. So I took this video and I sent to my mom. But anyways, if you love this Costa Rica series, I'm telling you, you want to subscribe, you want to follow because next week I'm taking you guys outside of Tamarindo to some waterfalls that will blow your mind. There's so much culture, so much history, so much to see in the rainforest. I'm my mouth. Pues pura vida, pura vida, pura vida. Así que sexy, bye.